What a time to be invested in carbon. And breaking news, CraneShares has just launched two new carbon ETFs and has a third waiting in the wings. I'll explain why this is so important for you and the planet. I'm Skylar James, welcome back to the channel and a special welcome to all of you who have come here for updates on carbon allowances, the soon to be world's hottest commodity. Let's first cover the breaking news around these two new ETFs. They offer investors access to single region carbon allowances, specifically California and the EU. The third is yet to release one. We'll cover that. That's called the Reggie allowances. So Crane Shares surprised all of us, or at least surprised me anyway, with these two new ETFs. The first is the California Carbon Allowance ETF. Ticker is KCCA. The second is the European Carbon Allowance ETF, ticker KEUA. Are those tickers sounding familiar to you? KCCA covers CCAs, KEUA covers, you guessed it, EUAs. Each of these ETFs will hold tracking carbon allowance futures for these specific regions. Remember, KRBN, the original carbon allowance ETF, is a global representation of carbon allowances, meaning Caribbean contains Europe and California and others, so more on that in just a second. The new region-specific ETFs have a slightly higher expense ratio than Caribbean, clocking in at 79 basis points rather than 78. But what kind of investor makes mistakes paying such high expense ratios? The answer is rich ones. Because even as KRBN hits almost $1 billion in assets under management and has doubled investor money in barely over a year, this still feels like an unknown ETF to most investors. Don't you think? Ask any of your friends if they know about carbon investing. So really, why are three carbon ETFs better than just the KRBN one with its diversified global coverage? Simply put, investors now have a more tactical approach to speculating in carbon allowances. They can be activist investors in their own right. If you live in California and you want to clean up the air, you could buy KCCA, make a little money, and drive up the cost of allowances in your state ever so slightly. I chat with people all the time about carbon. In fact, many of you I've chatted with about carbon. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. Let's make this a conversation where we have every few weeks of what's new with carbon. While there's some debate about how much more fuel EUAs have in the tank, there seems to be virtually no pessimists for California carbon, especially with this recall election behind us. Could California be set up for an EU-like rise in the price of carbon? Investors may want to allocate appropriately. After all, California is only 25% of KRBN's holdings, whereas KCCA is a pure play California access for speculators and investors. Another advantage of having a region specific ETF is that maybe we end up with more vintages in the holding. In other words, some of the futures contracts come due at different times. Caribbean only carries two years for each region. Will these new sector specific pure plays go out more years than just two? We don't know yet. Notice I have to speculate as to whether there will be more than two vintages because you and I are so early on this news that Crane Shares hasn't even had time to fill in the blanks on its prospectus and website. Don't get hung up on these blanks though. Crane Shares has taken aggressive steps to be the investing leader in this space. Luke Oliver is a head of strategy at Crane. He's out media blitzing nearly every day. The guy sounds like he has a head on his shoulders. So look, if you're wondering why I'm talking about California more than the EU, it's because I made a whole video on the bull thesis for European Union allowances, and the KEUA ETF allows pure play access to those futures investors are looking for. Speaking of pure play European carbon, many of you have left comments about the IPATH carbon ETM, which more or less tracks the price of the EU ETS. I bet that the new KEUA ETF will match the carbon ETM's performance, given that they are both tracking mainly European Union allowance futures. Call me old fashioned, but I'm more comfortable with ETFs over ETNs. As ETFs tend to be equity instruments, investment in actual equity within the carbon allowances, and the ETNs tend to be debt instruments. So let's step back 
and wrap up all that up. KCCA and KEUA are two new ETFs from CraneShares that give investors like me and you access to carbon allowance futures in the California Quebecois market and the EU respectively. That's part one of the exciting breaking news. And remember, California and Quebec share a linked cap and trade system. It's a minor but interesting footnote. Part two of the breaking news is that there is a third region specific ETF waiting in the wings. Also from Crane Shares, this one looks like it will be ticker KRGI and cover futures contracts to Reggie, the regional greenhouse gas initiative. An emission trading system that covers several states in the northeastern United States. As of this recording, there aren't any specifics about the fund, but we should consider it will look a lot like whatever the California and European ETFs look like. Remember that the carbon price in all three of these systems, California, Reggie, and the EU, are at all-time highs or hit an all-time high in the last month or so. Third thing we need to discuss the upcoming KRBN rebalance. You're probably familiar that most ETFs rebalance periodically and that a rebalance is just a reallocation of capital inside an ETF. Typical rebalances in a stock ETF will add a new IPO or trim some of the ETFs outsized winners. KRBN also performs rebalances. And what I'm hearing in the investing circles is that the UK futures are likely to enter KRBN before the year is out. Now, if you're not familiar, the UK debuted its cap and trade system about six months ago. In that short time, allowance prices have gone parabolic. The UK, like the rest of the developed world, is struggling under the surging energy costs and the ETS has responded as designed. So before the year is out, I expect to see UKAs added to KRBN. And I'm taking a complete guess here. I have no inside information, but I think the UK will get about 15% of KRBN's allocation when that happens. So that's the third point. And my fourth and final reflection for you today is what do these new ETFs mean for the carbon investing landscape? What do all of these incredible worldwide rises in allowance prices mean for us, the speculators and investors looking to profit as well as the global ecosystem? Remember that the price of carbon needs to be high enough that energy companies and other big time emitters have a financial push to embrace cleaner technology. And even with all these price jumps, the price of carbon isn't there yet. The more retail investors and institutional investors who get involved, the more global people like so many of you get involved, the higher the price of carbon. This is the small push that everyday people like me and you can make to change the world. Are you in? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.